This is the Savage Scorpion. It's a new length for 2016 at 5.25 metres and is powered by an Evinrude 115 horsepower E-Tech engine. It also features the Ultralift hull, which provides stability at rest, awesome planing speeds and exceptional cornering ability. Can't wait to see how this one performs on the water. At 5.25 metres in length, it's quite a lot of boat to manoeuvre, but the Seastar power steering makes that job very, very easy indeed. It turns exactly where you want it, it's very, very responsive and easy to turn the wheel as well. The hull also does an exceptional job of keeping spray down and out to the sides, meaning you're not going to get wet on your way out to any fishing grounds. Today we're fishing the break wall here off the Gold Coast, I hope the fish are biting. One of the best ways to work a rock wall is with a soft plastic lure. Cast it in tight to the structure and hop it back down. The fish will sit really in close to the wall where there's safety and protection from other predators. These types of boats are perfect for this style of fishing. I'm standing on a forward casting platform which allows me an elevated view of the fishing area that I'm working. It also helps me maintain contact with my lure as I can see where the line is going into the water. The other thing you can do in a boat like this is head offshore and drift for snapper over a reef or even troll for mackerel. It's the perfect compromise in that it enables you to do both inshore and offshore fishing very, very comfortably indeed. Well, the 2016 Savage Scorpion 525 is certainly impressive. With space on board for six of your friends and capable of a multitude of fishing styles, it can be towed with a family sedan, and that will appeal to a wide range of Australian families. 